Off we go. Oh, shit. Oh, great, this. Side quest. It's not terribly difficult, however, it can be kind of annoying. But, let's just look. Of course, you can't walk that far in. He has a nice little shack right here. And, I'm the Goron who sells Powder Keg, the most famous product of the Gorons. Want a Powder Keg? Powder Kegs explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. How come some grow to be that big and some just don't? Like, is there a reason for that? I don't, I don't even know. Until I have tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. Will you give it a try? Yeah. If you destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance to the Goron racetrack near here, use the Powder Keg I'm about to give you, then I'll prove you to carry them. When the powder keg is kicking faster, it means it's about to explode. Try to blow up the boulder block in the Goron racetrack entrance using the powder keg explode on the way. There's a sign near the racetrack, so keep an eye out for it. When you finish, come see me. So, I kind of forgot to explain this, but there's actually a tidbit where you see the little shit, like, you know, the little Goron that was annoyingly crying. He's in front of the Goron racetrack, and he was wondering when it was going to open. Like, he was having problems about that. Well, this was the solution if I actually went to go ask him, but I didn't bother doing that because it's not important. So, you can pretty much just run. This isn't terribly difficult, but like I keep saying, it's really annoying. Oh shit, it's starting to become daytime. The screen's gonna start like going small as I'm trying to do this crap. Great. Dodge. Avoid. Oh, great. Come on, Goron, you can do it. You can do it. At the time we have left. Do it. Do it, goddammit, for me. Do it for me. No, don't look at that thing. Do it. Uh, there we go. Come on, one more, one more. Alley oop! And Goron Race Track ahead in really small lettering. Okay, get out of here, you little shit. I gotta do this. Uh, I win, I win, I win, I win, I win, I win. I'm pretty sure I can just punch it now. Or not. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. What? Are you shitting me? It took away my bomb! No! Come on! No, no, come on! I got that! I fucking... No! God! You suck, game! You, you know what? What you want, you little shit? Our dumb me. Now that it's nice and warm out, I'm much better. Even if my daddy isn't right beside me, I won't be selfish and cry. So now that the spring has come, the garden race train should be starting soon. But, but this rock is in the way, so I can't get it to see the race. And spring's just started. I was excited, but there's nothing to do. I hate it, I hate it, I want to see it, I want to see it, I want to see it. You motherfucker, you took my bomb because the day changed. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Come on. That's a son of a bitch right there. And you know what? I'm not cutting this out. I'm not cutting this out. That was unfair, stupid bullshit right there. <clears throat> What is that? What is that? Unbefriggin' leavable. You bastards. You bastards. Just jump up already. Gotta turn to boiling just to climb, then back to him just to carry. I'm pissed now. I'm pissed. What is that bullshit? When the day changes the bomb, I did not fail. I did not fucking fail. The game failed me. You ass mother. You ass mongrel. Just throw it up again. I was doing great too. I had a perfect run of a powder keg. I mean, it's not that hard, 
But that's very rare where I have a perfect run, not making a single screw up whatsoever. Now I'm probably going to screw this up and constantly have problems. But yeah, that was a beautiful run. I didn't have a single problem. I made it in time perfectly. Then the game throws the middle finger fuck you treatment and you get to go and do it again because the day changed. What a piece of shit. Ugh. What is that? What is that? In all seriousness, what is that? Who came up with these rules? Ugh. Tingle, you're to blame for this, aren't you? He probably waited for the day to change he stole the bomb, like an asshole. And the audio cut out. Well, I'm gonna get this bomb keg up here first before... See? Shit, look, I'm having problems now. No, grab the bomb. Grab... Grab the bomb. Thank you. Quick, 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 quick. Uh. Come on, one more, one more. One freaking more. And... I win this time. I win. I will be right back. I win. I can't punch the bomb, apparently. Well, time to shield. <laughs> Cry to yourself. What kind of shield is that? And he loses his hat for some reason. He's just like groveling on the ground. And it's just waiting for the bomb to explode. Look at little kitty, the bomb is about to explode. Bam! Way to go, Darmy. That was cool. Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start. Come on, hurry. And there you go. If we go back, we can pretty much get the right to use the powdered kegs now or something like that. Which I probably should do. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. Before I start the final part of this session. The Goron Racetrack. Fuck. Oh, God. If I'm getting screwed over by simply carrying the powder keg, that is a horrible, horrible omen for how I'm going to do on the Goron Racetrack. And you know what this is a horrible omen? The last time I did a race, do you remember what happened? Do you remember what happened the last time I did a race? Oh yeah, it was with that asshole. The ass clown. The stupid butler. Good God, I am just screwed in the dick. Well, time to go get my free slip of paper or whatever. It looks like you managed to succeed knowing your skills. I feel fine letting you handle powder kegs on your own. It is bad for me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want you to take this as my apology. So you get a powder keg. Be careful, its sheer power and size are immenseless. Powder kegs are very volatile, so you can carry only one at a time. If you shoot them with an arrow, they'll explode as soon as they're hit. So be careful. But now you can pretty much not only... Like, you get a free powder keg, and not only that, you can also now buy powder kegs. Which is pretty damn useful, actually. Oh, don't fall off. So now you can buy powder kegs. I believe they're like 50 each. It's not a terrible deal. I mean, I have enough money in the game where it doesn't matter anyway. Money is not really that important in these Legend of Zelda games. Not until friggin' uh, Skyward Sword, where everything, like, they give you 3,000, like, rupees in one from one rupee. That's when money starts to become a lot less flammable. Like, <laughs> flying. Flying. Whatever, I don't know. Because in this game, the highest rupee they give you is at 300, I believe. Maybe at 100? I don't know. Maybe they give you a 300. I don't know if they do that yet. Whatever. Just go. Run the race. Ah, Darmy, I've been waiting for you. See, everything. everyone's restless because they can't enter. wait to enter. You're going to enter, aren't you? You're gonna enter, aren't you? Yep. You have to. I want you to show everyone how Darmy races. If your magic power runs low, charge it up with the green jars on the course. Well, 
Well, let's do this. Oh, yeah! There we go. This is going to be painful. Get out of here. Luckily, with Darmy's racing skills... Not Darmy. Darmani's racing skills... You should be okay to an extent, even though this race is a son of a bitch to win. And only first prize is awarded. Whatever happened to everybody's a winner? Oh yeah, that doesn't apply here. Because only first place is a winner. Oh shit, I'm gonna... You bastard! He ran into the bomb! Oh, come off it. So unless you have spikes out, everyone's going to knock you over. If you do have spikes out, then you can kind of knock people over. But then once you do, they normally unknock you out of the spike roll if you're in the stupid position. Great. This race is hard as shit to win. And there is many, many times where you will get just screwed over and will lose. Because this race is un for friggin giving. Plus, getting first place is just the hardest son of a bitch ever because the guy in first place actually is like really hard to beat. Oh, great. Well, I pretty much just lost, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Well, hey, if you get on your first try, you're a monster. I don't know what's wrong with you if you can manage to get this shit on your first try. You're just a little stiff because winter was so long. You're not really like this. Remember how good you really are, and then enter the race again. You have to. You have to show everyone how dumb your voice is, and you have to use the magic jars, and yeah. It starts again. Make sure you get a head start here. Because you're going to need it. You're going to need that head start. Unfortunately, there's no snow traction, so you can build up your speed in like a slow manner. It's just all this, and you will not build up your speed in a slow manner. I kind of like that, how you can build up your speed in a slow manner. I don't know. Careful. There you go. Alright, I'm not doing bad this time. Oh, wait, I'm in third. I can't have that roll. Aha, he hit a tree. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, man, that was good weaving and ducking and weaving and ducking and weaving. And you bastard. You bastard. Okay, just keep going. Keep it going. You son of a bitch. He stole my magic jar. That's another annoying thing the Gorons do. They steal your magic jars. Holy shit, camera angle. Go, quick, 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 quick. You bastard! Stop stealing the magic jars! Oh, thank God, I got one. Great, there's no way I'm going to be able to catch up to him unless I hug this wall like a mother. Come on. Let's go, you son of a bitch. Oh, shit, am I going to do this? I think I got it. I think I got it on my second try. Oh, thank you, Lord. That wasn't nearly as annoying as I thought it would be. Except that kind of makes it shallow. I kind of wanted it to be annoying. Secretly. I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. You got the bottle of gold dust. This is the finest quality available. Oh, to be just like you. Quick! Um. Wait a minute. Do we have enough time to make the sword? Uh, do I have enough time to make the sword? Do I? I mean, I got the bottle, but do I have enough time to make the sword? Does it take a full day's time, or does it take half a day's time? Because if it takes a full day's time, then I don't have time. Uh. Yeah. Ugo, go, go. Oh, a customer. Sorry, but we only do swords and cutlery. Oh, yeah, I forgot. 
Oh, a customer? Gabor, fetch our customers some coffee quick like. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Alright, to forge your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. Fuck. I gotta race again, guys. You're supposed to get this on the first day. Well then! No, no. You tell me I did all that shit with the powder cake too early? Oh my. Well. I got the bottle and the audio cut out. I don't even care. So next time on Majora's Mask, I guess I gotta redefeat Goat. I gotta redo the Gorn races. I have to go back in town and get another powder keg. Uh, and then we'll continue side questing. <laughs> Thank you, game, for. Uh, See you guys next time. Thank you.